Alright, so by the time you've seen this video, you'll already have seen the video that I shot and uploaded yesterday. But, I'm going to tell you how I made the video entirely on iPhone SE. Not the new iPhone SE 2020 edition, it would be much easier to film and edit and all that on that phone. I'm going to make it a challenge. This right here is my iPhone SE, uh, 2016 edition. It's a fairly decent device still for everything. Like, as you can see, it's full iPhone SE. Love the size, by the way, um, but more on that in the review coming up this week. And so let's go through what I had to do. So this video was entirely filmed as I was filming the other video. So lots of videos being shot at once. Let's get into it. All right, so first issue I have, which I'm gonna have to overcome for this video is this iPhone SE is so small, it doesn't fit in my Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal, which I would normally use to set the phone up on its tripod over there. So I'm gonna have to get creative with this. This is my old, Tripod mount for a smartphone. I'm gonna to have to bring it out for this video. I'm gonna snap my phone in there onto the tripod. Hopefully, I get some decent shots. All right, phone set up there. I'm gonna have my set here, like a lot of my videos. But to give it the best possible chance, we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go down to our no phones. Camera settings, we're going to go and switch into 4K 30fps. That way, I give it the best possible chance at producing a good image in post when we downscale to 1080. Alright, let's shoot a video. Alright, so I just filmed the video. Um, of course, it's went and it filmed in portrait mode, but because of iOS 13 last year, um, it was easy just to flip the video around. As you can see here, I've got it done there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a bit of color grade to this. No, I'm not doing it on the iMac or on the laptop off the side. I'm gonna be using the default stock photo app to color grade obviously if you have the time or whatever i highly recommend you do this but for the moment we're going to go for auto because that's what the average consumer will do and wow that does it really fast like you can still run a YouTube channel off this, but this video is just to push it. We're going to be using iMovie because that's what the average consumer will be using in their editing. That's just it, really, what they're going to be using. Um, if you're more in depth, obviously we can use LumaFusion, but I want to prove to the average person that this is possible. All right, so that's just done there, the video. You can just swipe through it, it's done processing. Now let's take it to our editing software. Um, iMovie, like I said, I'm gonna be using iMovie because it's a software that anyone can use. And realistically, if you have a smaller iPhone SE like this, you might not be the most up-to-date with the editing software. So let's go into time-lapse mode now while I finish the edit. Now, just to let you know, I do not have intros or anything in this because I don't have those assets imported, but you can probably notice that we I have a fair bit in this. You know, there's a fair bit in this. Um, this is 4K 30 footage from the SE itself because I wanted to give it the best possible chance when I don't scale it to 1080p and iMovie does a bit of compression so I'd like there it to give it the best possible chance 
when I'm doing this. All right, so now we're going to get some B-roll to overlay into this video. Um, obviously, uh, normally when I'm on the iMac, I'd be able to do this. But if I look up iPhone 12 on boxing, just for example, because I want to get a very specific picture of the paper look uh, that they have the paper protective film on it this is taking way longer than i expected but yeah i have it done there it's a four minute 32 second video we're gonna export the video in 1080p and we're just gonna let this export now you can do it this is running an A9X processor and obviously it's not the fastest but it's the M9 motion core processor so it's the first Apple Silicon processor that had a built-in dedicated graphics boosting processor. I love how simple iMovie is to use and anyone can do a video on an iPhone and this video wasn't to brag or anything or say look at my editing skills in fact this is the basic the most basic of basics you know it realistically is the most basics of basics in the form of editing here but my point is anyone can start a YouTube channel now even if they have uh, an older iPhone 6, iPhone iPhone 5S even, can do this. As long as you have an iPhone that can film videos, and or an iOS device that can film videos, and edit on iMovie, or even just have the YouTube app that can upload. Sometimes you just don't need to edit. That's what you can do. Now we're going to make the thumbnail after this finishes exporting. And you've obviously been seeing this happen as we're going along. But I don't need to show you the thumbnail. Because I did an experiment. My thumbnails were all done on this for the last week. And the thumbnails you saw on my Twitter a couple of days ago that I asked people which one they would click on first with the iPhone SE thumbnail for the review. Those were all made on an iPhone SE. You can see quite clearly the editing files and you can see all the thumbnails I've edited so far on this. It's quite amazing. Hey, so, um, yeah, it's, what time now? It's currently 8.47 in the afternoon. I started this project at 3 o'clock. So, obviously, this is just down to me messing with the video settings and stuff, so I haven't been playing around with it too much. But as you get better, you can still do it. But my proof is that I can still do it. So we're going to go into YouTube, we're going to go into the little upload video icon, back next me. we're going to give the video a title, we're going to put this in the tech videos playlist, next, no it's not made for kids, no do not restrict my viewership. There we go. So if you wanted any more proof that it's possible to produce YouTube content off a smartphone, this is it.
this video was built up 4K, it was edited on the iPhone, completely uploaded on the iPhone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that and more in the comment section below. I'm Connor and I'll catch you next one.